sports anchor Harvey Smilovitz with the stories behind the scores. Welcome back. Oh, it sure felt like fall today outside your living room, and I bet it was fall like inside as well. College football, plenty of it. We'll also have game one of the World Series for you shortly, but first, a bizarre day in Columbus to be certain. For the now once beaten Buckeyes, for the first time in almost two years, their winning streak stands at zero. Could they start a brand new one today against number nine Iowa? The last time, by the way, Ohio State lost back-to-back -back regular season games. How about four years ago, November 1999? Well, this is October 2003, and if you like special teams, buckle up. Michael Jenkins fields the punt on his own 47. Watch him break free, and you can't bring him down. 54-yard return for six points. OSU leads it 10 to three. Now, Craig Krenzel looking for the big play as well. Hits Drew Carter just inside the sideline. 34-yard pass play down to the one. And Krenzel on the keeper dives for the end zone, but wait, he's denied by Abdul Hodge. Ball pops loose and the Buckeyes threat. But Iowa returns the mistake. David Bradley's punt blocked by Roy Hall. The ball squirts into the end zone, where Dante Whitner falls on it for a touchdown and a 17-3 OSU lead. Now the Hawkeyes turn on for a big special teams play. The fake field goal kicker Nate Caden goes in untouched. That cuts OSU's margin, 17-10. But Iowa assures the Buckeye victory. The bad snap right through the end zone for a safety. With just over three minutes left, Ohio State wins it 19-10. So the Bucks with a brand-new one-game winning streak. Only four more to catch Miami. That's right. The Red Hawks started the season 0-1, but heading into today's game, they're 5-1. Five straight wins, scoring at least 40 points a contest. So, how many did they rack up on the board today against Ball State? Well, let's go to picturesque Muncie, Indiana. Long day for Andy Roche. Throws his first of three interceptions to John Busing, who makes him pay dearly. Busing is gone. 65 yards on the return for a touchdown. Hawks jump out to a 7-0 lead. You know it's going right for Ben Roethlisberger, fumbling the snap, then hitting Matt Brandt on a 21-yard scoring pass play. Then it's Daryl Hunter's turn to make the pick. And check out Daryl Hunter when he gets the ball. Look at the return. He decides to go a different route. No, no, can't go that way. Now he breaks a tackle. Then he heads down the sideline. Hunter is going, going all the way to the end zone. 64-yard return. Miami wins it six straight. Final score there, 49-3. Everyone is. This was championship game number three, but uh, really, really happy that we came out and played the way we did. They had a lot going for them, homecoming, a week off to prepare, but obviously our guys uh, prepared very well also. Proud of our coaching staff, proud of our players. Let's go to Lexington for a cat fight. UK Wildcats and Ohio Bobcats. Backup Shane Boyd steals the show. A little trickeration there. 42-yard touchdown pass to Tommy Cook. Then it's Boyd on the keeper. He scores twice on runs from 8 and 12 yards into the land of six. And when Jared Lorenzo returns after a poor first half, Shane Boyd is his target. The short pass turns into a 30-yard touchdown. UK beats OU 35.